What's up YouTube? Uh, coming at you today with another exciting first look video, first uh, video on these knives on YouTube. This is an exciting new company, uh, Guardian Tactical USA. And these knives are made in the USA. Uh, the company was started by two former Microtech employees that were engineers slash CNC guys. And uh, you can see the quality that they've learned and the experience gained through their designs. Um, this is the Patron, and this is the uh, one of two folders offered by Guardian Tactical. Uh, they also have the Helix, which is a flipper for you flipper guys. I know a lot of guys prefer a flipper. Um, the knife comes in a really nice box, Guardian Tactical symbol on there, website, made in the USA. Uh, they're out of Pennsylvania, which is close to me. I'm in West Virginia. And uh, the knife also comes in this little sort of velvet feeling pouch with their symbol on it. And you get your warranty card information here. If anybody wants to pause it, that has all the information on there. As well as, uh, I'll put a link, of course, below to the website. Now, this is literally a brand new company, like I said. They just uh, launched at Blade Show. Uh, there were... There was a special edition of this knife uh, available at Blade that is still available a few places on the internet that has black and orange G10 and I believe S30V. Uh, my knife has CPM 154 and G10. And then they also offer a model of this knife with carbon fiber and S30V that will be a production model as well. Um, they also have a fixed blade version of this knife. But so to get into this knife, uh, the initial thing that drew me to it was that awesome blade shape and those cool slashes machined into the blade. Uh, definitely reminds me of Wolverine. And the blade, once I had it in hand, I couldn't tell this from the pictures on the internet, has a very unique grind. I've read that uh, they do their grind 100% on CNC. And the back half of the grind is flat, and if you can see the subtle line right through here, it's hollow ground in front of that. So you have a, a very slight hollow grind in the front half of the blade where it's a little leaner, and then the back half has a little more meat behind it and is a flat grind. And you might be able to see it best in this uh, area right here on the secondary bevel where the edge just gets slightly thicker. That is where the hollow grind meets the flat grind. And it's a line that swoops right through there. And like I said, it's, it's kind of hard to see until you're in person. Uh, but the knife runs on bearings. Uh, it is extremely smooth. It has a 16 bearing system. And the knife just flies out. Uh, it's got a very strong detent on it. And the detent pressure when you get over it, when you get pot, uh, past it, it's loaded up so much energy that it, it just rips out. Uh, it is a sub frame lock design. The G10 uh, side here has what I assume is a titanium lock face or lock bar that screws in by the pocket clip screws here. And it screws into the back of the handle scale and runs through here and then it has a steel lock face insert here that is screwed in by these two screws which also hold the very unique G10 overlay. This is G10 here over the liner. Um, so it's a very unique subframe lock design that should last just on and on and on with that lock face insert. The lock up on mine uh, is very early, right around 15-20% and locks up extremely solid, no play left to right, no play up and down. Uh, this knife is not broken in yet so it's hard to open without flipping, flicking, but when you do open it softly it's very early, like 5%, not as solid. So that'll, that'll just break in nicely. That's really nice to have super early lock up with a nice long life ahead of it. The thumb studs are very nice. You can see the hollow machined onto them there. And then they have texturing that goes around the sides as well, giving you a nice purchase. 
uh, the thumb studs act, act as the stop pin and when they uh, contact here instead of just having G10 you've got two steel inserts one on either side for very long life and reliable lockup that's not going to wear steel on steel now it's also well designed in that since the thumb studs are round these steel inserts are also round so you have a round on round which will give you a long life versus if the thumb studs round we're hitting a flat steel surface so they've really nailed a lot of the little stuff uh, the backspacer is really nice it's got some additional jimping here and then a lanyard hole machined in with a uh, skull crusher the knife is very light uh, it's about a four ounce knife so even though it has a nice thick four mil blade the G10 handles the sub frame lock and the materials chosen give you a nice light usable EDC size knife uh, this is about a four inch blade nine inch overall knife to give you a size idea I'm gonna set some other knives out here that some of you should be familiar with it's a great EDC size like I said it's about the same size as the standard Emerson Commander and I will pick the camera up in a second to give you all the proper perspective it's about the same size as my spider Spyderco Pacific Salt, uh, which is the same as the Spyderco Endura dimension wise, and then it's also about the same size as my Pole Force Mic 1. Let me just pick the camera up now for you guys and focus to show you that. Nice, friendly EDC size. So, overall fit and finish is just outstanding. Um, the knife feels and locks up extremely solid. The action on it is extremely smooth, just buttery smooth. The knife closes on its own weight. Uh, the detent, like I said, is outstanding. I don't like a soft detent. And they've just really nailed it. The knife feels great in hand or ergonomics wise. You have some finger reliefs here on the handle. Mine tend to fall right in front of that last one I think if you had extremely large hands mine are sort of a medium sized hand you might fall in right here but I could choke back on it like this you can choke up on it in the choil here you have a nice safety choil for when you're closing the knife and uh, just just really really cool really outstanding quality really nice exciting looking designs uh, and it should be a good performer. It's it's one of those knives that does a little bit of everything well. Really nice machining done on the G10. The contouring helps with the ergonomics just really nicely. You have some lines, reliefs, cuts, and in, cuts into here, giving you extra grip. And then you, the whole thing is contoured and rounded everywhere. <laughs> Uh, the knives are also serial numbered, which I forgot to mention, and mine is number 23, which I thought was very cool. Nice early number, uh, as well as I am old and was a big Michael Jordan fan. So like I said, this one is uh, the non-flipper, and then they offer the Helix Flipper for all you flipper guys out there. I apologize for the dogs in the background. Wanted to get the good lighting out here. Show you the reverse grip as well. Very, very comfortable. Had that jimping there. Just locks into the hand and feels very good this way. Uh, I prefer a solid backspacer. The fat and meatier hand doesn't get down in there and pinch like it can on an open spine construction or a uh, you know something with standoffs so I don't mind the standoffs but I definitely prefer a closed back spine like this and the only area here uh, 
is where you, you would have any of that. And when you're holding the knife and pushing hard on harder material, you're not in there. Uh, the clip is something I was worried about. Some of these clips like this uh, can be a little uncomfortable. This one comes up subtly and nicely. It doesn't come up very far. And then it's all been contoured and rounded. I hope you can see well to where it is comfortable in the hand. It's not a big rectangle on top. It's not an FU clip. So in the hand, that clip is fine. Feels very comfortable, doesn't get in the way. You can grip the knife very tight and not get any hot spots. Uh, really well thought out. The jimping here is nice. It's uh, aggressive enough to, to grab your thumb, grab your skin, but it doesn't hurt. It's not uncomfortable, uh, which some people like that super aggressive jimping, but I don't if you're doing a lot of hard cutting. Anything like that that's super aggressive is going to end up hurting you, giving you a little bit of a hot spot. But I'm very impressed with the knife overall. I would rate it uh, right up there with all the high-end knives that I've personally owned. And the action on it is smoother than anything I've owned. Uh, I've only had one other knife on bearings, and that was a knife way back in the early 90s. Uh, called tie knives that had a ceramic ball bearing system, but this is just far smoother and the lock up ought to be outstanding forever with that lock face insert uh, That is the first knife I've personally had with a lock face insert I think it's definitely one of those things that you're going to start to see more and more on high-end knives uh, Just giving them that long long life But I'm just going to shut up now and just kind of show the knife up close a little bit and uh, in closing, thanks for watching, guys. Please go check them out. Show them some support. Made in the USA. Great company. Great quality. Outstanding knife. I would just mention one more thing guys and uh, I should have brought some paper out here with me I apologize but I'll do more videos on this knife and I'll show you how this factory edge was just stupid sharp stupid sharp outstanding sharpening job higher than average from the factory all right guys well thanks for watching link will be below and uh, I appreciate everybody that watches my channel I appreciate all my new subs and anybody that's not over on Instagram, you guys really ought to go over there and uh, sign up. It's a lot of good fun, and you'll see things first there from uh, not only my channel, but a lot of other channels. You know, I got this knife uh, yesterday and was able to put a bunch of uh, pictures up. And again, since I just got this knife, of course, as always, this is just sort of an overview. And I haven't used the knife a lot yet, and I will continue to use it, test it, and uh, do more videos and update you guys. But thanks again for watching, everybody. Stay safe. Have a great day. Please sub.